I'm in my studio and I've lined up my Converse and I'm going to paint them. It's a little cold out to go for a ride and do some urban sketching. It's 49 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 9.4 degrees Celsius. But today we're gonna paint the red ones. Come on, you guys. I've set up my easel with a clipboard behind it. And so my first one that I'll be doing is the Strathmore Vision Mixed Media. It's 98 pounds, 100. I'm using my Sailor fountain pen, which does have a tendency to clog. I need to clean out the nib every time I start over again. It's a little frustrating, but I like the pen in general. It wasn't too expensive. That's my first fountain pen. Yeah, see, that's what happens. And I learned the hard way, don't run it underwater because you water down your ink and you get gray, which is what happened in my video that I did of that uh, rusty, rusty urban sketching. I was wondering why my paint was gray. It was because I had rinsed it under the faucet. Not the smartest. Alexa, pause. All right, so that took a long time. It's a lot more complicated than I thought, which is weird because I've done these before with a sketch and and I've done them before in pen and I don't know, maybe because I'm a camera, I decided to make it more complicated than it was, but the laces are the toughest thing and I find that if I put them in first, then I can get the rest of the shape of the shoe down. Um, there's just so many overlapping places and you want to be sure to get all of the three-dimensional aspects of the laces. Let me take that one down and that one down. I think I thought I'd get back to that. All right, I'm using my Schmincke palette and I'm working on the reds. I'm using the Grumbacher 8. And I had to add, uh, I used Cad Red Light, Quinn Nacron Red Light, and Ruby Red Deep and mixed that in because the first two are too orange. So I had to get the Ruby Red Deep in there to get some red. So again, this is not watercolor paper, so let's see what happens. Let's
right, so I put just two layers in of the red. I think in this paper, I don't want to get any more than that. And I put some shadows. I added a little uh, blue, I guess, indigo probably. I don't know. For to darken the red for some shadow area. And I'm using yellow ochre to get the inside of these. These are older shoes, a few years old. And um, I've got some dirt. I want to include all the smudges. I uh, made a few mistakes like this extra line and what else did I do? I don't know, I forget what it is that I did, but, um, and then I'm going to use some shadow blues and purples for the laces and a little more of the smudgy dirt and around the soles. All right, she's all ready. And the only thing I'm going to do is add the lines above and this little piece above and they just sort of go around. And you could see probably if I leave it in with the editing, how much the pen clogged at first. I, f I do find that kind of frustrating about this pen. But once I get rolling, it is, Fine. It's just that, like, when I did my um, rusty archway, I was in the middle of a video. I had been outside sketching, that's what it was, and my pen clogged, and... Okay, these do not go all this way. There's definitely a line right here that goes like that. But that's fine. Anyway, the, um, the pen clogged while I was... Or the... I was running out of ink, and I didn't realize it because it was the first time I was using it outside letting it run out of ink and the um so I went and thought it was clogged and washed it and I got water in the reservoir and it made my ink gray and uh not a big deal but uh, the clogging is a little bit frustrating but otherwise I like the pen and I like working with a fountain pen I do like that I can get different size lines and not just always the thin line that I feel like I have to go back and thicken so I want to put a little bit of shadow in there, I want to put a little bit of shadow where the laces meet these rivets or whatever they're called. And I forgot, actually you don't get to see those, but you do get to see this one. And there is another one here that I did not put in. So let's see. Let's try that and that. Yeah, it's good enough. All right. All set. Thanks for watching. See you next time.